We're going to turn a long stem goblet and show you how to do it. What I'm going to try and do is turn a, a, a tapered stem. I'm going to do a series of little V cuts. Then I'm going to start to form the outside shape. I can hear and feel a little bit of harmonic there. And again, that's because of how much wood sticking out. Parting tool. We're following the outside curve. I'm going to make a cut here first. Be careful. You heard a little bit of a harmonic there. Don't take too big a cut. Now that I've cleared the wood in front, and come back here, and cut the wind to the thickness that I want. You are better taking a hundred small cuts, get it right, than one or two big ones, and get it wrong. I've got to get rid of some of this wood here, in that section, to be able to fold that around and start to form the OG shape. And then here. Watch your wings, watch you don't catch there. That's a nice curve. I'm going to chuck this into here. Right, it's starting to get tight to get the ball gouge in there. So what we're going to do is take that out, put the spindle gouge in. This Finish on. Go a little squat gouge. Take some of this. One, two, and that's cut and just, just the same as if you were rolling or cutting a coal. Roll the tool, that's our small little detail there. Parting tool. heavy up the top here. So, spindle gouge. See if we can take one small little cut here. There we go, that's better. That's going to give me a better starting point at the top. Okay. One. Two. Right, the detail, wow, look how much that's moving now. That's a good quarter of an inch. So, the detail, it's half done for you. If we make a cut down there, that's too big, but if we come down here, continue that cut to there, and then come in here, Blend that in. So now the parting there. tool. We're going to slightly undercut this so it fits nicely. At slow speed, it's a. There we go. And you get a nice clean parting off on the bottom.